Hi, and welcome to Unit 7. This time we're going to be discussing about process costing calculations. So we're going to have to do a little bit of maths in this time. Now we have three areas that we need to discuss. To begin with, we have three important concepts we need to go over briefly. Second part is we're going to look a little bit further about the weighted average, and you may have noticed that as you were perhaps skimming through the material for this unit. And the third point is this idea of operation costing. Now this is a little bit of a, a hybrid or a combination with our process costing and our job order costing styles. So to begin with, our first one was about these three key important areas. Well, the first one, it describes about our inventory. It's similar to an inventory management style, an inventory management system. Now, this is our FIFO and our weighted average. Now, if you've done accounting before, perhaps as an undergrad, you should be familiar with FIFO. This is our first in, first out style. And then we have our weighted average. So please go over those, review those. You will need those as you do calculations with them further on in the unit. The second part there was about weighted average. So again, I had to really emphasize, get some review, practice those calculations for that weighted average. And the third thing I want you to consider, because we're doing calculations now, is what we call these equivalent units. Now, equivalent units, you can think of these in two ways, in two uh, dimensions, you could say. The first one is in partial completion of products. If you have, uh, you're manufacturing something and you only complete 40% of it, or maybe a better example would be if you complete 50% of it. If you complete 50% of one unit and 50% of another unit, then by this terminology equivalent units, then two products, both of them 50% done each, then by comparison, we would have one complete unit. But we could also consider this from the example of a percentage, a percentage of completion. So if, we have, uh, if we're manufacturing 10,000 uh, units, 10,000 products, and we complete 70% of that 10,000, well then our calculation would tell us that we've completed in total then, because we're using this ideology of equivalent units, if we've done 70% of that 10,000 units, then we could say that we've completed 7,000 units. Now this is all in particular for a certain time period for that manufacturing cycle. When it transfers to the next, the following manufacturing cycle, then your calculations will change again. And so you will have to adjust and adopt to that. So please read to the material, and when we get further on, we'll come back and we'll discuss those points again. See you soon.